Hey guys. So, um, today I'm excited to get back into a little bit of comedy and, um, in light of the recent election, I decided to do something that has been highly requested on my channel, Shane Gillis impersonating Trump. Yeah, I'm really ready for it. I really enjoy um, Shane Gillis, what I've seen in him so far, which isn't a lot. I've reacted to him on my channel um, and those are, you know, like my first experiences um, watching him and I just really like his humor. Um, I love him with Theo Vaughn. I love everyone with Theo Vaughn because Theo Vaughn is great, but um, I really like their dynamic together um, also. So yeah, anyway, I hear that Shane Gillis kills his Donald Trump impressions and I'm excited to see it for myself. So, all right, let's get into it. From his surprise appearance on Kill Tony. Right now I'm working at Trader Joe's. I heard a lot about the Kill Tony, like not details, but just like how good it was. <laughs> He's sold out this country. To the sketches on Gillian Heaves <laughs> and SNL, the Shane Gillis Donald Trump impression gets funnier every time you see it. To take Trump and make it not hacky, it takes a lot of skill. Thanks, yeah. dude. And these are 16 of the funniest Shane Gillis Trump moments, starting off with the original story of the Trump impression from Shane's first special. It's not hard to do Trump. It's very, all you have to do that just do that. Do that a second off from where it should be in the sentence. <laughs> you don't have to sound like him. All you have to do is like get his cadence down. It's very easy. All you have to do is like describe something and then say you described it that way. That's it. It's every time. Like, what a big room this is. I walked in here. I said, wow, what a big room. <laughs> That's it. Every so time. The real. easiest way to do Trump is like the speech Trump when okay. he's doing a rally. Trump. Okay, okay. Because it's just in the back of your throat. Okay. The greatest country. <laughs> the greatest country. Okay. A little bit. The, the greatest country. Don't do this. Do this. Uh, the greatest That's, country. Don't move at all. Only yeah, move your hands. All right. Don't move my body. If you're sitting, don't move your shoulders. Just uh, your hands. Right. If you're the sitting, greatest country. The best country. The best country. <laughs> wow. What a country. Wow. What a country. <laughs> A lot of Asians. A lot of a lot of Asians. Maybe too many Asians. Maybe too there many Asians. Too many Asians. <laughs> yeah. Maybe too many Asians. I don't know. Ari Shafir, yeah. what a loser this guy is. <laughs> yes. He's 70 years old, this guy. They tell me how old he is. He's, he's, he can't be this old. He is this old. That's amazing. <laughs> That's great. That's amazing. Thanks. That's amazing. That's yeah, very good. We gotta get you and Biden, you doing Trump together. Do President Joe Biden and President Donald Trump for the remainder of the show. This is one of those moments we will never forget. Oh, there's the lovely Heidi, everybody. Oh, hey. What a great lady. I talked to her backstage and uh, <laughs> wonderful woman. The tits are real. <laughs> <laughs> I Excuse love me. That Excuse me. Broke. A lot of people are saying her tits are fake. They're not fake. I touched them and great tits, wonderful tits, American tits. And that's the, that's the thing that we've lost under this administration. Where are the American tits anymore? Oh, no. Four years ago, there were American tits. Now there's no American tits. Mexican tits. <laughs> He's laughing. Mexican tits are streaming up the border. No one's stopping it. <laughs> Fentanyl tits. Fentanyl. <coughs> Unimaginable what's happened to this country. We're fine. We're fine. Hey, I, I smelled her tits too. They're great. No, Everything's tits. great. We're fine now. We were fine then. We're fine. <laughs> hey, you're the sucker. <laughs> His face. I bet I can. I bet I can smell her. I bet I. I bet I can do it first. Joe, you're an idiot. Please stop. <laughs> hey, hey, sage my face. <laughs> Mr. Trump, how do you feel about gay rights? 
I like it, but they're going a little overboard with the dancing. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of dancing. I don't know about that. Trump going Matt and Shane's. What's your love life like, Matt Sturm? Pretty non-existent. Last hookup you had, where was that? How long ago was that? Uh, Connecticut. Wow. It was like a <laughs> five months ago or something. <laughs> yeah, it, was, it was a long time ago, yeah. How so you got pussy five months ago? <laughs> you could say that. Yeah. For a guy who collects bugs, frankly, that's not bad, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a sad woman in Connecticut fucked the bug guy. <laughs> I know she's watching this right now. She's at home going, I fucked that guy, and he collects bugs in a jar. <laughs> <laughs> he puts it down, that's it. Oh. <laughs> Have you guys seen Jamie Foxx's Trump? It's the only Trump I've ever heard that's better than yours. Oh, it's uh, better? Uh, well, black people are better at things. This is, this is a challenge. <laughs> Jamie Foxx. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not going <laughs> to. I don't want to. I know the yeah, next yeah. couple of right. <laughs> nope. He's a black guy. Black guys, they're okay. Pretty good. You got a good Trump. <laughs> Pretty good. Your Trump's good. Oh, oh f can we get the Trump off? No, no, Trump off. Trump off. A lot of people doing me. You're a very good impersonator. Wow. <laughs> yeah. He's nice at it. <laughs> Sounds <laughs> like it. Joe DeRosa, what a pig. <laughs> <laughs> Disgusting pig. I would love to put the, the country on your shoulders, but Joe, it might slide off. <laughs> I'm a very good comedian. I could be a comedian. A lot of guys, a lot of guys say Joe's built like a worm. I don't say that, but Joe is built like a worm. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like the men in black aliens grew up. <laughs> <laughs> very good, very good. That was incredible. Uh, we did it. That's, hey, the only we impression, so, that's the only impression I have. We can still do something. It'd be fun. It would be nice to do a white fire. and black Trump. It would be fire. Be It'd be nice yeah. to just can two, we do dudes, it? two dudes that watched Trump enough that they adopted it. We're and then our lives. So like, like just us going to a store. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'd like uh, mint skull. Do you have mint skull? <laughs> um, so you have a gun? Yes, AR-15. I'm gonna get a new, another one. I do firmly believe every autistic man should own. Let's <laughs> get this guy a bump stock. Why not? <laughs> Is that your first gun in AR-15? It's my second. I have a Shadow Systems MR920L. Jesus uh, Christ. When they say it like that, you know they mean business. <laughs> <laughs> right. Here at the Pittsburgh. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it would be so oh, hard to do it and stay in character. <laughs> <laughs> I had a few one. Bud Lights. I'm going to turn into Sleepy Joe in a minute. We're both gonna, oh. we're both going to be doing a Joe Biden impression. <laughs> I'd like to see you turn into me. Hit me, Red Band. <laughs> God, fuck, David, Red, Red Band. Red, Red Band, you are a fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel like the Joe Biden is very good. <laughs> Hey, congrats, you got the high score in skee ball again. <laughs> I've never played skee ball. <laughs> I have never once played skee ball. That's what you want? <laughs> A guy who's never played skee ball, an American treasure? So, you don't even know who Harrison Ford is. Oh, please. <laughs> so, Hans, who are you voting for in this? I was going to say Anybody maybe it's because I haven't watched the right whole here. thing. But I would love to vote for Kim Jong-un, but I guess I'm in America, so I, I think uh, Trump is the most Kim Jong-un type of, type of guy that I could vote for. Oh. I respect him in my Korean soul. <laughs> is that what you are? I was trying to figure it out. <laughs> I'm a uh, yeah. I'm Korean. All right. South Korean. Thank you for gross. <laughs> <laughs> Ew.
<laughs> Joe, there's a lot of scientists out there. There's these guys that Gross. come in here. They talk to you. They don't know what they're saying. They talk to you about getting pussy. I get pussy a lot of guys. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if Trump has seen your Perfect. Trump. Oh, I wonder if Trump has seen my Trump. I bet he has. I bet he has. Shane, you once did a joke that I love. <laughs> a joke about Donald Trump getting shot. <laughs> all right. Of all the presidents, I think it's fair to say Donald Trump would be the funniest one to see get shot. Did he really say Just this? He'd be in the middle of a speech talking shit. Just, <laughs> You're gay. <laughs> 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 the shooter would be coming at him and be like, sit down, get down. <laughs> what a loser, get down, sit down. <laughs> But just the noise he would make when he got hit. Even if you love Donald Trump, it would be funny. I'm dying. (laughs) 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 But the rest of the joke, which is my favorite part that didn't really, a lot of people didn't like it, was uh, Biden. I think Biden's the first president you could punch assassinate. You just, you just walk right up to him and be like, Mr. President, how the fuck are you doing? <laughs> a giant scar being one of the least creepy. I can't believe he said that before it happened. Stood still, why Shane out here see him? predicting futures. It's a Jurassic Park joke that was so good. <laughs> you stupid bullies didn't get it. <laughs> you see, that's what you're going to get with Trump. Movie references from before 1995. <laughs> 1997, great year for Jurassic Park. <laughs> so, Jacob, what is your love life like exactly? I'm engaged. Wow. Yeah, congrats. Yeah. Yeah. Why is he so girl. shocked? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Did you say clever girl? Another great reference from the smash hit film Jurassic Park. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that Jurassic Park 5 or whatever the fuck you said earlier? Clever girl. That was a great joke, and the internet is going to prove that I made a great <laughs> joke and that this room is tired and dumb. Bro, this is crazy. It really looks like young Trump from Home Alone 2, bro. That is so... <laughs> You all got a Home Alone 2 reference, and no one knew Jurassic Park. What a new... A few years ago, excuse me, excuse me, a few years ago, everyone would have got the Jurassic Park Bro, reference. this is so crazy. It was a Jurassic World under my administration. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that dinosaur on your arm? A fucking stegosaurus? A lot of dinosaur cool. talk tonight, and... Uh, <laughs> You would think with all this talk they would understand Jurassic Park. Nobody understood Jurassic Park. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's really History cute. will look kindly on that joke. <laughs> oh I have no my. doubt. Each of you is going to meet for about three it's minutes. It's so then you're real. Hear this buzzer. And when that goes off, we're going to move to the next table. Ready to find some love? Tana. What are you doing here? I was asked to speak at this hotel. It turns out there's some type of pussy banquet going on. Fuck you, you fucking piece of shit, ugly, fat, orange fuck. Social media. They had to take it away. I was too good. In fact, go ahead, put it back up. Put it back up. People say I've got bad makeup. Tana looks like someone painted That's her face a horrible like a clown. wig. That's what we're going to call her. Tana, it the clown. She looks like him. She looks like she should be in a sewer bothering children. <laughs> you are utterly disgusting. I'm disgusting. I saw you walk in. I said, who's this? She, is this a pig? I didn't know they were letting pigs in. You're a dictator. Old sage. What a loser. What a loser she was. Somebody needs to tell her that her pussy stinks. When you walked in, I could practically smell you. Your vagina stinks. Smell you know the whole room. No one here is going to go on a date with you. There'll be no problem there. I'll get a date. You There's going to be so many dates. People, whoa, this guy has so many dates. You, none. I don't even need a date, but I'll get a date if I want a date. You can go on Tinder. This if you're is this. There's so Tinder. You go wild. Beep, boop, and there's pussy. Your parents still together? No. Okay. How long have they been separated for? Almost 10 years, probably. They just called us out to the back porch one by one and let us know. The it back was, porch. It was a nice moment. Here, I'll be bad. your dad. Donna, you be his mom. Let's recreate it. Get out here, little man. Come here. (laughs) (laughs) 
We got something to Me tell and you. your piece of shit father have something to say. <laughs> yeah, you've been, you, you're, you're not, you're not, you're not doing it. Remember, what did I tell you as a young boy? You got to do it. They broke up because of you, it turns out, Caitlin. Oh. It was all my fault. What did I not do? I don't know. You, you, it? You're always golfing. <laughs> if you're gay, just tell us. It's fine. <laughs> We've known you're gay. You are gay. We know you're gay. <laughs> you I'm are gay. You, job you, Thomas. you being gay has shattered this family, frankly, and broke us apart. <laughs> we can't eat dinner in the house anymore. Your father and I are disgusted because you are gay. <laughs> why can't you Why can't you meet some nice girl that hawk to us all over your cock? Wow. <laughs> She's obviously voting for me. <laughs> that is... What that a patriot. Is, that is very true. What a there patriot. is no doubt about that. So uh, you were gay and your parents split up, then what? And then I lived the rest 10 years of my life. That's all. Just being gay. Just be <laughs> What's fine. the gayest thing you ever did, Cam? <laughs> Good question, Tony. Uh, played gay chicken one time. What's gay chicken exactly? Tell, explain you and, to us. You and a buddy close your eyes, and you puck your lips like you're going to kiss, and you both walk towards each other until one of your chickens out and moves away. That's very funny. Joe Biden did that with Big Mike. <laughs> 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 they played gay chicken every day. She'd say, Joe, this is a chocolate cone. He would go, whoa. This is a dick. You've got a dick. <laughs> a huge dick, a white snake, a black snake. <laughs> Michelle Obama has a giant black dick. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. So what? How does he keep a straight face? I want to see Trump talking to Amy. She's a fat pig. She's a disgusting. <laughs> oh my god. I love how everyone just has him do it because it's Trump. so great. That's, how Trump that's not Shane. That's not Trump. 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 Chop, chop. Right, right, right. I would. Okay. I think Amy's great. Nate, you took a shot at Brian Redband during your set. What's your love life like? He said the as previously established on the show. Oh, we've talked about this. Yeah. That sounds about right. No one remembers. No one remembers. Sorry. No one does. <laughs> Won't you, bring it up. You watch a lot of porn. Yeah. It's your favorite category. I'm kind of going back to softcore now. What is it about is it? softcore porn? I like to see how they're like, oh, this is a see-through uh, clothing tryout. This is it's what's happening. This sexual. is what's happening in this country. The men now are going back to <laughs> softcore. Can you believe it? <laughs> softcore porn. Can you believe this? Well, it's better. It's better. Four years ago, up. we were into tranny <laughs> porn. We were doing... <laughs> <laughs> the men in this country were being men. We watched gay porn. We had gay sex. <laughs> We had gay sex, and now faggots are watching <laughs> soap. <laughs> <laughs> now we've got a faggot epidemic in this country. Hey, 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 hey! Can you believe Trump it? When I was in, <laughs> hey, that faggot's got rights. <laughs> What's your dad do for work? Uh, he's a banker. <laughs> Is he still working for the banks? I have no idea. You don't talk to him? Yeah, I stopped talking to my dad. When's, why did you stop talking to your dad? He's kind of crazy. But wh why? Um, How is he crazy? Did he say, stop working at a fucking grocery <laughs> store? <laughs> stop doing Wait. comedy. Get a real job. I'm a millionaire banker, and my son is a retarded anime <laughs> pussy. <laughs> hey. Wow. <laughs> I'm in character. <laughs> That's true. It is President Trump saying I this. Love, I love how he just casually says, Any interest? I'm in character. Okay. Hey, blame the dairy industry. I would never so suck. So funny. But if I did, it'd be one of the best sucks he's ever had. <laughs> oh, it's over. Oh, no. I'm so sad. I'm actually so sad that that's over. It's so funny. <laughs> it's so funny that everyone's just like, do another one, do another one. And I get it. Like, I want more. It's so good. He said some wild things. And then he was just like, I'm in character. <laughs> and whenever he mentioned Amy, or are they talking about Amy Schumer? I'm assuming <laughs> And um, he called her, <laughs> called her a fat pig, and then everyone's like, "Oh!" And he's like, "Not me." He's like, "I like Amy." Oh, it's funny. That was great.
I felt bad for that kid. The one that he said his dad's a baker and he's a loser. <laughs> like, I don't know. I feel bad, but that was incredible. It was so real. Like, it is exactly how Trump talks and his mannerisms. But also, it's literally things like that he would say, like, I am the best. You know, like, I don't know. It's just all just ego and then repeating in a different verbiage the same message of greatness. I'm actually sad that it's over. Okay, well... That was a compilation, so I don't even know if there are more clips than that, but if you guys have any more that weren't in there of him doing Trump, please, please send them my way. Also, the Biden guy sucked. I don't even know who it is. Maybe that makes me a loser, like I should know or something, but I don't know who he was and he wasn't a good Joe Biden. Like his facial expression was the funniest thing he did. He wasn't in character. Like the things he said weren't like he should have been much more confused the whole time. He was asking legitimate questions. He was commenting to Shane Gillis as Trump. He, none of that would be real. He should have just been really confused. Like, Shane Gillis was in character the whole time giving such horrible <laughs> responses that he would have to be like, I'm in character. Whereas the Biden guy was just being a guy. Like, I don't know. He should have just been really lost and confused and then making comments that were off the wall and didn't make sense. And then fall. If he would fall down, that would be accurate. That was great. Um, I'm disappointed in myself for not watching that sooner because you guys have been suggesting it for a while now. Um, but yeah, like I said, send more my way if there are more. And um, also just any kind of comedy suggestions send my way. I'm, I'm here for it. I'm ready. And until next time. Bye, guys. Thank you.